Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate what normally I would do in a face-to-face -face class in this next activity. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a plain sheet of paper. It can be a scrap piece of paper or a fresh sheet of paper, but you need a one eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Go grab that and then return to the video. You need some type of a marker in your squares. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take, I want you to take three of these squares and on each square, I want you to write down one of your favorite activities. So three favorite activities. Mine might be running, ooh, watching Lifetime Movie Network and cooking, okay? So I've got three, these three activities and then put those in a little stack. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to take five squares and I want you to write five important people. The first one is of course gonna be my mom, my husband, Carly, Mary, and my sister. Sisters, I have two sisters. So both my sisters. I'm gonna put sisters on one card. Take three squares. I want you to write down three goals you have for your future. Take three more squares and I want you to write down three of your favorite possessions. Mine would be my wedding band. Think. And with the last two squares, I want you to write down two things that you hope to own someday. You should have these in separate little stacks in front of you. What I want you to do is make sure you have a stack of your activities, your people, your dreams, and your possessions. Activities, people, dreams, possessions. Four different little piles. Using those different stacks of phrases, or words that you've written down, I want you to listen to this story. Once upon a time, while at the zoo, you were bitten by a rare species of monkey. You're starting to feel very sick and your doctor diagnoses you with a serious illness. Your doctor's unsure of how to cure you and doesn't know whether the disease is fatal. He tells you that you have to give up one of your favorite activities. So from your favorite activities, look through those and decide one that you have to give up. So once you give that one up, it's gone. Okay, because of your time off from work, you're short on cash and have to give up one of your possessions. You should have two possessions, give up one. Because of your disease, you're hospitalized for a certain amount of time and you need to give up one of your goals. You're exhausted from the illness and trying to work. You lose one of your goals and must give up an activity. Also, two more important people disappear from your life because you are no longer able to maintain relationships. So at this point, you're permanently hospitalized. You're allowed only one visitor and can take one possession to the hospital. Discard two important people and two possessions. So take your important people and discard two. Take your possession stack and discard. Your doctor finds a hospital in Europe that specializes in rare monkey bites. Once you're there, You'll have to live near the hospital for the rest of your life in case you suffer from symptoms again. You must discard three of your remaining squares. Which will they be? 
discard three of your remaining squares. You are starting your life over again with only this person, possession, goal, or activity. When we meet next week, I want you to show me this one square. I want to know what was that last square that you were holding. It's either a person, a possession, a goal, or an activity. So when you check in for the discussion, I want to see your square.